Good to be with you on this Wednesday. I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Don Hudson. Thank you very much for joining us. We have breaking news to begin this newscast. Police in Logan found the body of five-year-old Elizabeth Shelley not far from her home and they charged her uncle, 21-year-old Alex Whipple, with her death. It's been a day full of heart-wrenching developments, starting with that sweeping search of a landfill this morning, then to an emotional press conference with the police chief determined to get answers. Lizzie's uncle, Alex Whipple, now facing aggravated murder, kidnapping, desecration of a human body, and obstruction of justice charges. The charging documents state blood was found on Whipple's watch and hooded sweatshirt. Now, investigators also found a knife at a nearby school that had Lizzie's blood on it. Police also found a teal skirt buried under some dirt and bark that matches what Elizabeth was last wearing. Now, police also located Lizzie's body in the area of 500, or excuse me, 50 north and about 500 west. And you're seeing that on the map here, just a few blocks really from her home. Now, we're going to be turning to our team coverage tonight. Yeah, we'll. And we'll be getting to Andrew Reeser is up there. We also have uh, Nick McGurk up there, Nicole Newman, all covering this story and a news conference coming up as well. But before we get to that, we maybe want to reset the stage again, how this all got started. And that's this press conference is expected to be happening absolutely any minute now. Again, happening at Logan Police mm -hmm. Department. The police chief spoke earlier today. And as we may mention, a very emotional update this morning. This was before Lizzie's right. body was found. And then, and when, and just so you know, as soon as he starts speaking, we'll stop talking. But just getting you up to speed, we all heard about this Saturday. Because yeah. on Friday, okay, we're now understand the police chief Jensen is at the podium or someone. Let's go there. Obviously promising news to, to report today. At about noon, we received word from uh, both Alex's defense attorney and the Cache County Attorney's Office. A negotiation uh, took place and uh, the negotiation was for Alex to share information regarding the whereabouts of Lizzie's body. In fact, through Alex's attorney, we were provided a map of an area um, where we discovered human remains at about, uh, oh, it was a little after two o'clock, where we were actually able to find and confirm human remains. Um, there's a process to go through as we deal with uh, this situation. So. This is obviously the break that we've been waiting for. This is the moment that we had hoped would come. Uh, obviously not in the, uh, certainly not the way we wanted it to happen. We certainly would have wanted to bring Lizzie home. Um, but this nevertheless is um, closure and it helps us uh, be able to now deal with the investigation and help the family uh, through their, their grief. So uh, I know the question is going to be asked, what was the negotiation? And uh, the negotiation was simply to take the death penalty off the table in, in trade for information that would lead us to Lizzie's body. Um, it's been hard. A lot of phone calls have come in over the last, everybody saw that the congregation of police around the 454 West Center Street area this is about one half of a block away from Lizzie's home. This is uh, the general area where we found several um, evidence pieces. It's, it's hard to believe, I mean, it's a wooded area. It's a very, very um, overgrown area. Um, it's, it's hard to believe that uh, we've been through that area and were unable to find her, but uh, the good news is now that we have found human, re human remains. And at this point, you, the phone calls that have come in have said, have you found her? Now, I hope you understand that uh, being able to positively identify, I'm not able to do that, and nor are my detectives. Um, but again, we feel strongly that uh, Lizzie has been found and that uh, process then goes through the uh, medical examiner's office and uh, we have state crime lab up to help us process that scene. And so there's hours worth of work that still remain for us to be able to um, get who we believe to be Lizzie off to the uh, pro appropriate authorities to make that positive identification. So uh, I guess m my notion at this point is that we have Lizzie, but we still have yet to confirm positively that that is her. 
So I'm, I'm very grateful uh, for all the assistance. I, I, I would just be remiss if I didn't find, uh, make a final statement of all the, the people hours that were donated by all the different police agencies from all over the state of Utah, mostly in the Cache Valley area, uh, federal agencies, state agencies, municipal agencies. Um, it's, been, it's been amazing. Uh, once again, the, the outreach of our wonderful community has been uh, just unbelievable. So although grateful for all that, um, we still have a job to do and we're going to continue to see this through um, and make sure that we've done our job well so that we can take this case forward to prosecution. I'd like to uh, take just a moment. Uh, Jill Parker is here. Jill Parker is the spokesperson uh, for the uh, Whipple family, and she has a letter um, from them that she'd like to read. Uh, my name is Jill Parker. I'm the spokesperson for Lizzie's family. Um, before I read this statement, I just need you to know these are the words of her mom. So. There are not words to express the sadness and the heartbreak we feel today. This did not end the way we wanted it to, but in this sadness, we are comforted that so many people put forth so much effort to help us find Lizzie. You made the difference and we are so very thankful. We would never have expected this outpouring of help and support we could not have gone through this by ourselves. We were able to feel the love of so many people, most of who we had never met. You all didn't stop. We have never seen so many people trying so hard and it was beautiful. From, from the donations to keep searchers strong, to the searchers who didn't give up, to law enforcement, the county attorney's office, community members, and many others, please know we felt your love and we were comforted by it. We can't find the words to say thank you. It means so much to us. Lizzie was such a caring and giving little girl. We hope that we can look to her as an example of how to live. We live in a great community. We ask at this time that you respect our privacy as we mourn the loss of our Lizzie. Short, sweet, to the point. Um, any questions you folks have? Chief, what else can you tell us about the area where this body is found? Again, center block of uh, that uh, 400 um, west area uh, just north of center street uh, again um, heavily wooded uh, overgrown um, very overgrown area anything else found in that yard or? There, once again this was in the general area that we'd found several of the evidence items and uh, we thought we'd search that area hard um, you know i'd love to share a picture um, of the area that her body was found just because it is it's amazing the overgrowth and the difficulty of, of seeing so yes would it have been hard to find any not disclose it well it's been hard and we haven't found her so we're grateful at this point to have, have done that i'm sorry once once she did get a map uh, to go to that area of that, like, sure said, what, i mean not to be crude but was there any digging involved did you, were you able to Finding human remains pretty quickly? Uh, no, we had to unearth, uh, yeah, yeah. What was the proximity to the home? Oh, um, it's a, a half, about a half a block, really, yeah, yeah. What did, what did he do? I mean, how did this all happen? What do you mean, what did he do? Well, she disappeared, mm -hmm. and now you're announcing a horrible tragedy. You know, I, don't, I don't know the nature uh, of, of her dying. I don't know anything about that at this point. That still is a lot of investigation down the road for us to really understand that. The attorney wouldn't uh, said that they didn't really talk about motive or why you did this. Did anybody explain to you anything about no. why? No. We don't have motive at this point. Again, this isn't over with. Um, investigation's ongoing. We still have a lot of things to sift through, a lot of investigation to do. Um, again, the coroner's office, the state crime lab, um, even potentially um, interviews with um, Alex. We don't know yet. We'll find that out. Was it tough to do that negotiation? Um, 
No. Um, our most important interest was bringing Lizzie home. Do you have any connection to that property where the body was found? Do, does, Do you have no. Any to that no, not that we're aware of. No. Are there going to be any additional searches in that area? Do you feel like you gathered all the evidence that, that you would need at this point? I, there will certainly be a greater effort put in that area, but again, we feel like we hit that area pretty well, so um, there's definitely going to be some follow-up search, yes. The attorney also didn't say whether or not specifically, definitely, he's going to plead guilty to this, but I'm assuming that's part of the negotiation. Death penalty is off the table. He has to plead guilty. Is that uh, That's not what I understand. What I understand is they simply took the death penalty off the table in trade for information about where to find Lizzie. Can, uh, logistically, can the police do that, or does that have to be left up to the county attorney's office? No, uh, we the police are the fact finders. We take the facts to the county attorney's office. That they we have been listening to the Logan Police Chief, Gary Jensen, talking about this horrible, horrible situation up in Logan. And right. I mean, we just recap some of what he had to say. Yeah, so he started off obviously by just saying that Lizzie's body was found, saying that the reason or how they were able to find her body was that Alex Whipple, again, the, the suspect and now facing charges, was willing to give the attorney a map as to where yeah. this body would be, the human remains of Lizzie would be, and that is how they were able to find this, the, the, right. the human remains, saying though that it was a really difficult area, that it was heavily, yeah. um, heavily there wooded, point. they yeah. said, yeah. Heavily wooded overgrown and the, and the prosecutor I guess they took they took the death penalty off the table and that's right. when uh, Alex Whipple finally told them and g gave them that map just one thing and before we keep going is that Jill Parker gave the family statement oh my goodness of course you know you expected to hear sadness and heartbreak but she also said she was so comforted that so many people came forward to help out and support she used the term it was beautiful and she felt the love so it's such a tragic thing the family was expressing to the community that they really did feel that support. But for those that didn't catch the beginning of her statement, saying that these words were directly from the mother right. and starting off that the family at this point has no words, which all of us can imagine, little yeah. five-year-old Lizzie. Oh. Um, they're hoping, of course, that she'd come home safe, but now have said they have found her body. Yeah. All right, we count on ABC4 News to bring you the latest developments, of course, on this investigation. While we're here, join our newscast and online at ABC4.com.